going to be episode 3 of my little mini-series uh, of specific archetypes that are seen in the DMT experience. So, the third one that I wanted to talk about was the Praying Mantis. Originally, I was going to do this a little later on in the series, but since it's a small one, I figured I can get it out of the way pretty quickly. So, because I already know mostly about it, I didn't have to really research much, but, like, this was the very first archetype that I ever heard about in the DMT experience. Well, not, not very first. I think it might have been... Terence McKenna, uh, the uh, Machine Elves, I think, and then reading probably the Hyperspace uh, DMT Nexus, uh, the Lexicon thing, I read about uh, the Praying Mantis, so that one is probably one that most people have heard about too, because a lot of people I've come across have reported it, and the reason why I haven't really spent much time on this specific archetype is because um, I was more interested in the Jester and Clown archetype because it, it it's more of, um, the, the, the Jester is, is more of like a cultural, uh, uh, creation instead of, uh, a praying mantis because, uh, for, for the, uh, for, for the praying mantis to, to uh, show itself in our subconscious, it's a little more uh, expected, expected, right? Because uh, you would you would assume that the visions would be composed of mostly things that we have evolved with. So you might see animals and like alligators and snakes or whatever. These are just random uh, assortments of jungle type or forest type creatures, and that's originally what you would expect if you were to uh, if you were to say, okay, yeah, so. All of these images are uh, rooted into my subconscious because um, we've sort of evolved with these creatures, so we just were we recognize them and they're they're part of uh, who we are and, and how we've grown. But uh, the reason why I thought that the jester and clown one was so interesting is because th those ones are so alien to nature and and uh, the natural sort of uh, order of things like. You know, you would, uh, I said before, you would expect clowns, I mean, you would, you would expect, um, all these, uh, uh forest-type animals, like, uh, uh, praying mantis and, and bugs and, and, and jaguars and stuff like that, but clowns and, and, and jokers, they don't, they don't evolve from that sort of, um, environment like it there's a sort of disconnect there like what well, one thing doesn't go with the other so that's why i thought that the jester and clown thing was so interesting but the the prey mantis does have its charms too because i was looking on the internet to see if i could find any sort of information on any sort of mythical uh, uh explanation of it or some sort of spiritual explanation so i found some interesting stuff i just took a little bit of a a screenshot of it, so I'm just going to read it to you guys quickly. So it says, with its worshipful with, with its worshipful uh, appearance on one hand and blood bloodthirsty behavior on the other, the praying mantis, widely distributed across the world, has given rise to many myths, as suggested by its very name, mantis, which means prophet or seer. The being is a uh, being with spiritual or mystical powers. The praying mantis supposedly directs pilgrims to Mecca, the holiest site of the Islamic world. Uh, it becomes a god, res restored life, bestows good luck, and helps find lost sheep and, and goats in Africa. Obviously, there is some liter literature uh, ex expressing some sort of meaning towards this archetype, and that's it's pretty it's pretty funny that. Um, most things that don't seem to have some sort of like spiritual, uh, symbolic or esoteric meaning uh, in these uh, psychedelic visions. When you look it up, there's always some sort of spiritual thing. Like even with the uh, the chessboard, which I'll get into, I found a um, really interesting website telling uh, you know the the symbolic meaning behind it. So I hope that this sort of sheds light on it. You guys can sort of tell me your Prey Mantis experiences. Uh, I personally have never seen it. Um, but that doesn't mean that you won't. So, good night.